Beta 95X. You know, I like this FPV drone quite a lot. I have uh, a <laughs> SMO 4K camera on top and I have replaced the bump absorber down here, which comes with the Beta with this foam uh, contraption here. So it's a foam and then I am tying down the camera with uh, a strap. And I like this much more because it's much easier to take it away and put it in. And I believe it gives enough dampening so that you don't get this harsh vibration in the picture from the camera. Uh, so we can actually start recording. Why don't we attach the camera directly to the drone, right? Why do we need this shock absorber or dampener in between the camera and the drone? That's because when the drone is moving, is you know, going in the air, it is creating quite some vibration. So the drone is shaking, right? And you want the image to be stable. So the point is, if you put some thing in between, which reduces the vibration, it absorbs them, right? then the images will be more smooth. Now, of course, we have stabilization on the camera. The camera has, for example, in this case, we use flow state, but it doesn't matter. You can use gyro data and you can get your image stabilized. But if there's too much vibration, the picture is ruined and you don't get it back. So by adding this absorber, you get a bit of a smoother picture and I think it's generally worth it, especially this one, which is just a piece of foam. And by the way, this piece of foam is the same where they use to store all the beta FPV components that they send you, so you have it already around you. And then to fix, to mount the camera to the foam is very simple. You just basically place a wire and just bind it until the camera is stuck and you can remove and put back the camera anytime you want. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. And as always, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you like the video and want to see more. And I will see you in the next one.